Hi everyone, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. In today's video, we are going to study basic life processes. This is coming under the physiology and anatomy section. In this video, we will study what are the types of life processes, basic life processes and what are the definition of these. Okay, so let's start. Basic life processes. Basic life processes are the characteristics of living things. These are the characteristics of living things. So maybe the question will come like what are the characteristics of living things. At that time also you can write it down the same answer. So these are the characteristics of living things. These are present in living things and absent in non-living things. This is the differentiation that is it is these processes are present in living things and absent in non-living things. We can see each one. The first one is metabolism. Metabolism is present in living things but it is absent in non-living things. Second one is responsiveness. Responsiveness. The third one is movement. Fourth one growth. Fifth one reproduction and sixth one differentiation. These are the six different basic life processes. We will see one more time. What are the basic life processes? One is metabolism. Second one is responsiveness. Third one is movement. Fourth one growth. Fifth one reproduction. And sixth one differentiation. These are the basic life processes. Now we will see each one each basic life processes. The first one is metabolism. What is metabolism? Metabolism is the sum of all the chemical processes that occur in the body. What is metabolism? Metabolism is the sum of all the chemical processes that is occurring in living body. That is the metabolism. Metabolism can be categorized into two phases. The first one is catabolism and the second one is anabolism. Okay, catabolism and anabolism. Now we will see what is catabolism. Catabolism is the breaking down of complex chemical material into simpler ones. That is the catabolism. Catabolism is breaking down of complex chemical substances into simpler ones. For example, the protein is break down into different amino acids. Okay, in this protein is a complex chemical substances. It is uh, break down into simpler ones that is amino acids. That is the example for catabolism. So the first one is catabolism. The second one, second type of metabolism is anabolism. Anabolism means it is the building up. It is the building up of a complex chemical substances from simpler ones. So simpler one will unite each other. They will combine each other and they will form complex chemical substances. That process is called anabolism. Okay, now you understood what is catabolism and what is anabolism. Now we will see the example for this one, anabolism. Anabolism example is amino acids join together to form protein. Okay, different amino acids join together and form particular protein. Here AA represents amino acids. Here you can see protein is break down into different amino acid. In anabolism you can see amino acids join together and form protein. That is the anabolism. Now we understood what is metabolism. What is metabolism? Metabolism is the sum of all the chemical processes that occur in the body. That is the metabolism. It is categorized into two different phases that is catabolism and anabolism okay now we will see the next one that is responsiveness what is responsiveness responsiveness is the 
ability of a living things ability of body to respond or to detect first of all to detect and to respond to the changes that's occurring in the internal or external environment of that body that living things okay that is the ability body's ability to detect and to respond to the changes that occur in its internal and external environment okay that is the responsiveness so example we will see example is decreasing in the body temperature that is an example for internal environment change okay next one is responding to the sound one person is called from behind at that time that guy will be looking back that is the responding to the sound that is from external environment detect the changes detect the voice and also the person is responding to the that voice that is through external environment so responsiveness is the body's ability to detect and respond to the changes in its internal and external environment examples we already seen the next one is movement movement is the motion it is the motion of the whole body total body is moving total body movement is coming under the movement motion of the whole body or its individual organ motion of a particular organ suppose my hand is moving that is more individual organ movement of or motion of individual organ or even motion of a single cell inside our body it's a motion of a single cell or and even tiny structure that is present inside the cell so what is movement movement is the motion of whole body or individual organ or a particular cell or individual cell or a particular structure or small structure tiny structure that is present inside the cell that is the movement next one growth 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 is another basic life process so we are studying now basic life processes there are six life basic life processes we already covered that one this is at the fourth fourth is growth that is growth is the increasing body size it is the body size increment increasing in the body size it's occur due to increase in size of existing cell may be due to existing cell existing cell size is increased due to that there will be body size increment or it may be due to increasing number of cell number of cells is increased so the body size is also automatically increased or it may be due to both these reasons both these reason means increasing the sizing of existing cell or and number of cells is also increased these are the growth growth is increasing body size due to increasing size of existing cell or increasing number of cells or both reproduction reproduction means it is the formation of new cells it is the process of formation of new cells that is the reproduction this new cells are formed for the replacement or for the repair or for the tissue growth there are three reason for the formation of new cells one is for replacement of the cell second one repair of the cell damaged cell then the last one that is tissue growth for the tissue growth so the formation process of formation of new cells for the replacement or for the repair or for the tissue growth is called reproduction in another method or in another way we can say reproduction is the production of new individual these two definitions are also correct so reproduction is the production of new individual you can say like that also it is the reproduction is the production of new individual example is 
when sperm is combined with ovum it form zygote that is new individual is formed okay next one next is basic life process and the last one is differentiation differentiation is the process of formation of specialized cell from unspecialized cells it is the process of formation of specialized cell from unspecialized cell that is the differentiation okay it is specialized cell is formed from unspecialized cell that is the differentiation we can see one example fertilized egg is converted into embryo fertilized egg is converted into embryo first of all that is differentiation is occurring after that embryo is converted into fetus fetus is converted into infant infant is converted into child child is converted into adult in each process there is differentiation that is when fertilized egg is converted into as embryo there is a differentiation and embryo when is converted into fetus there is also in differentiation and fetus when converted into infant there is differentiation like that so child when is converted into adult there is differentiation that is the process of formation of a particular specialized cell from unspecialized cell these are the basic life processes we already covered six basic life process i will name that one first one is metabolism second one responsiveness third one movement fourth one growth fifth one reproduction and sixth one is differentiation in some book some authors saying that respiration is also coming under basic life process so if you want you can write it on seven basic life processes including the last one respiration what is respiration it is the process of exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide in between the cell and external environment it is the process of exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the cell and its external environment that is called respiration hope you got the idea about basic life processes uh, if you like this video please make thumbs up and also share with your pharma friends thank you